What is up guys? Blim here and we are back with more coverage from the World Cup of Pokemon, your favorite series. So we have seen a lot of like hilarious games, we have seen hilarious chokes, we have seen like some really good sweeps, we have seen some unfortunate stuff but today's game is super duper satisfying. This game has all the elements which you need to like satisfy your mind. This this game is super satisfying. Yeah, because there is everything. So first, which people like the most is Tall Destruction. There is Tall Destruction. There is some super powerful move clicking. There is some good plays. This replay or this game is a mix of everything. So we'll see the game. But first, let's give a quick introduction about the players. On my side, we have Asma. Asma is representing Team US West. Yep. And they have been playing Mons for, I think, 2016. They have some decent experience. I do not know their tournament participation in OU, but I know that they are the OU forum leader. But regardless, I do not know how much they are, like, uh, participation in OU tournaments is. How, I mean, how much they compete in tournaments and stuff. But regardless, like, they are a nice person. They are a very good player. Also, they are a good artist. Yeah, they are an artist. They, like, draw, paint, and all that stuff. So, yeah, you can check their profile out in Smogon. Like, they, they are, yeah, multi-talented. And now... Getting to the opponent now on the top we have potato potato is representing team Canada Potato has been playing Mon since 2020 and also they main their main tier is 1v1 So yeah, they are really good at 1v1 and they know Mons in general and now like if I were to compare the matchups I think Asma has a slight advantage in I mean when it comes to OU because they are the OU forum leader, they are, invo they are involved in OU stuff and also yeah, I will give Asma a small advantage over Potato Chant. Now let's have a look at the teams. Asma, as you can already see that they are using a Sun team. Like standard Torkoal, Sun, Torkoal, Heatran, Victini, Venusaur, Landy. Yeah, I think it's a Defog Landy and this this is a, I think this might be a Boots Coco. Or it might be a Defog Coco as well. And why Coco in a Sun team? Because like for this Victini, Victini's ball strikes get super duper powerful with Coco support and like Victini can actually like break through packs and stuff. So yeah, and on Sun teams generally heat trends are super offensive. Like heat trends is like either maybe choice specs. I've seen choice scarf or I've even seen like max special attack max speed with like air balloon and stuff. So yeah, they're running a very offensive Sun team. However, potato chan they are using a stall team. So yeah, they're using a stall team with a late game setup Rooney. So yeah, I mean standard stall packs, Gastrodon, Scum they have a coco i mean coco you might think that coco is not a stall but coco is a super duper supposed to stall because coco stops most of most of the flying types they're kind of walled by coco and boots coco is super fast it, it threatens out a lot of mons with this like dual stab is really good and it gets roost as well so coco is an amazing pivot for stall nowadays mostly the modern stalls you will see coco has become a stall staple yeah so don't get like when you see coco in a stall team you might think that no they're not running stall but yeah coco is currently it's a stall staple because it provides a lot of utility uh, yeah so yeah and now looking at threats so i mean potato has a stall team so i mean this rooney this rooney won't be a threat unless till this victini is alive this rooney won't be a threat at all because like sun boosted v creates whether it's like max Gigi, max defense rooney it will drop so i don't see any threats from like potato chain side but from osma side this venusaur is a ginormous threat by the way like venusaur is an absolute menace to stall if it gets to like plus one or if it gets to like plus two then it beats almost everything even like skarmory loses to giga Ren, by the way yeah because skarmory can just like uh, click the uh, uh, click the body press because i think this uh, like stall teams like this this skarmory will generally be uh, toxic over uh, iron defense so venusaur beats this 1v1 like if this venusaur like it, get, it gets like some multiple boosts it will beat the entire team so this venusaur is a huge threat and regardless this victine is a ginormous threat because as i said with sun plus terrain plus victine it will destroy ho if all months all months v create will destroy scams v create will destroy uh blissey v create it does like around 80 percent to gastron if i'm not mistaken let, let me show you some gastron calcs because like gastron is mostly speed up on stall team let me show you the calcs so as you can already see v create in sun does 58 to 69 percent almost 70 percent damage so it's a guaranteed to it kill and because Gastron won't be able to outspeed Victini ever. So it's a guaranteed to eat KO under Sun. So Victini is a ginormous threat. Now, yeah. Let's see how this game went. Let's see if Asma can like not start like throwing bombs in hats. Because hazards is a big problem for Sun. I mean Sun team and like Potato has a lot of hazards. Like it might be Rock Scum, Rocks Blissey, maybe a like, T-Spike Pex, which can be annoying. They have a Venusaur, but still T-Spike Pex can be a bit annoying. But let's see how this battle went. 
So we should see a Torkoal lead. Okay, we see a Coco lead on a Blissey. Coco should go for the turn. Yeah, U turn comes out and Coco Torkoal finally comes out. Rocks. The rocks come out, which is very annoying. This Torkoal should get up. Oh, goes for the body press. There's a shit turn to Blissey, but I think this Torkoal will lose the 1v1 exchange because they are toxic. Okay, so Osmod is to get up the rocks and the switcher to the landy. Blissey goes for the toss. I mean, yeah, toss, toss comes out and this landy should go for a turn. The Victini comes out. Okay, this is non boots. Okay, so already, already started. This Victini is maybe. What are you? If it's not boots, it's hella choice. It might be like choice banded. And choice banded, we create, it will destroy everything. Tox effects will get to it, KO'd. If it's like choice banded. But as you can already see, the V creates have started to come out and Coco already gone. Coco has already dropped. Pex comes out, Victini goes for, okay. Uh, Coco comes out on the Pex. I mean, yeah, it's a fine play. This Pex would be scared out of the T ball, but no, they prick the turn. The Venusaur comes out and, okay, Pex goes to recover. The growth should come out, okay. Osma decides to Giga Drain and Pex goes for the Haze, predicting the growth, okay? Venusaur goes for the growth, but let's see. Venusaur switches out to the Talk Hole, Skarm goes for the Spike or the ID. Okay, Body Press, as I said, is toxic, I think. Skarm switches out, Osma doubles to the Landy and I think this Pex, Pex generally stay in on Landy. Do the Toxic or do the T-Spike? Okay, they recover, predicting the Earthquake. I do not agree with this play, but the Coco comes out again. On the knockoff, really nice play by Asma. They switch, they should U-turn. Yep, the Blissey comes out. And the Victini comes out. It's a Sun Boosted V create. Pex takes 42. Okay, so Pex takes 42. So this Victini, I think this is not Bandit for sure because Bandit will do more damage. And this Pex is also max defense. So I think Asma should switch out and go to the Venus. Or let's see. Wow, this was not choice all the time. What was this item though? Was this like some citrus berry or something? Because it's not boots, it took rocks damage. And this was a knocked off as well. So was this like some expert belt or something? Maybe like Shaka Berry? Or like maybe Colbert 2 Frost Sucker Punches from Bisharp and stuff? What was this item? That's the biggest mystery. But however, the Pex is already down. And look at the four monster. Look at V Create now. The Pex is gone to the uh, terrain boosted bolt strike, as I already said. This is why Coco really pairs up nice with Dictini because of this terrain boosted bolt strike. It gets like double stab, fire stab plus electric stab and plus psychic stab as well. So already the Pex is down. Let's see what happens now. Can Osma wrap this up? They go to the Venus on the Gastrodon. The sun is gone and the scam should be able to wall it unless they go to the Rooney. This Giga Drain does a shit shit ton of damage. I think the Torkoal should come out. Osma shouldn't let this uh, Rooney set up. Okay, the Victini also is a nice play. U-turn please. Yeah, the U-turn. The Torkoal comes out. Perfecto. And I think the Venus Shot should come out on the Gastrodon. So already the Stolly. Okay, we see a sub come out. Is this like sub uh, curse or something? Goes for the growth on the earth power. I do not agree with this grow growth play, but whatever. Let's see what happens. Because it gave the gastro uh, extra earth power hit. You, he could have, like, she could have growth up on the Blissey. Okay, we go, go for the Giga Drain again. And do they click the quick? The sub again. Okay, they are trying to give the burn damage as much as possible. They go for the Giga Drain again. And earth power should come out. Earth power comes out. And Venusaur lives and he's going to leave the burn damage. And I think Giga Drain... Okay, they'll go for the weather ball over the... I mean, yeah, this Venusaur is gonna drop. And guess what comes out now? Three... Oh my god. Let's see. Bang! One gone. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Bring it out. Who's next? The Rooney comes out. Free U-turn and the crit as well. Torque hole goes down. Okay, they go for the recover. And is Asma gonna throw here? Yeah, they go for the Lava Home. Perfect. So, Asma could never reach the victim here because in case this Rooney, Rooney was some like Shadow Ball or maybe some Thunder Wave bullshit, then if this Victini dropped, then the Heatran could have still done it, depending on the set, but still, it would have been kind of annoying for Asma. So the best play was to sack the Torkoal and just click v create twice. Yeah, the rocks come out and Torkoal goes to the body where kills the- Oh my god, this is gonna be a Rooney overkill. Let's play it in slow motion. This is gonna be a Rooney overkill. The Victini comes out, ready to devour. The V create comes out. 99% they get the main roll, but do the shadow ball? I mean it's over. Let's let's see the V create once again. Slow motion. Absolute destruction. Absolute destruction by Osma. <laughs> it was so satisfying. I love it when Victini creates clicks V create. You just love to see Victini click V creates under sun, you know? This is the most satisfying feeling ever. So this is why I said this game is so satisfying. It is like stall destruction. And it is like Victini kicking V crates, clicking uh, terrain boosted ball strikes. It's like such an amazing game to watch. So yeah, Potato Chan got dirty, followed. But however, you used all you deserve it. So uh, yeah, nice victory by Asma. And yeah. So this should be it for today.
Hope you guys enjoyed this satisfying life for more amazing life like this. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and we have a showdown live later in the day as well. So yes, subscribe, 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 leave a like, and stay safe, guys. Take care, peace.